I think the biggest trouble with supply chains is that people use cost as a large determinant on who they go with. That's really difficult when you're engaging in a series of one-off transactions or probably I'd call them one-night stands in effect. You don't know who you are really working with and you don't know who they are using to help you deliver on, on, on your work. What we want to do is we want to have long-term or enduring relations where we can really understand the people we're working with and probably most importantly, the people that they're working with to do our work. Good leadership in the supply chain is not thinking it's someone else's problem. Effectively, you can't outsource health and safety. Auckland Airport has a deep reaching supply chain. And so as we think about our ability to influence safety outcomes, that comes from the point you're selecting, thinking about going to market uh, in an RFP right through to the contract terms, induction of that supplier, and then the ongoing performance management. And I think that consistency of approach hasn't been in place. It really down, is down from business to business. If, if we had a more holistic framework, I think in New Zealand around supplier management and its role in health, safety and well-being, that we'd see an uptick in performance more consistently. And when I talk to groups of CEOs, what are the things that make the biggest difference to the supply chain arrangements that have delivered success? It's trust, it's ownership, and yet all of our effort seems to be in the technical and the systemic. So I would like to see more focus on what's the leadership relational work that needs to sit around our technical and procurement improvements. What's really important in our supply chain is that we have uh, appropriate controls and support for our people when they feel like they are being pushed to deliver results daily, but equally have the opportunity to opt out if they feel unsafe doing that task. Certainly at our executive meetings, procurement's a big part of our agenda. Um, are we engaging with our top contractors? Are we learning from them? Are we being visible for them? And making sure at the executive table that we see our supply chain as innovation partners, not just traditional suppliers, but actual partners in how you're thinking about your business, particularly around health and safety.